Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about potty training your parrot. And this is actually so much easier than you think it's going to be. So with Ozzy, when we first got him, we did have issues with him um, using the bathroom on us. You know, if we had him in the car, he would sometimes use the bathroom or, you know, and, but it was also our fault as well because we just didn't know the signs at this time because we had just got him and we were learning. So I'm going to teach you today um, how to potty train your parrot. The first thing is you want to know how often your parrot is going to use the bathroom and once you spend so much time with your parrot you just know this like I know between 45 minutes and an hour Ozzy's going to have to use the bathroom that's just a given and like I say once you if you know your parrot very well you know how often they use the bathroom so um, how you can do this first is about every 45 minutes you're going to take your parrot to the stand, to the cage, however you want to do it. And you're just going to say, go poop, use the bathroom, whatever language um, you want to use, wordage, just use the same um, thing that you tell them every time. I just tell Ozzy, go poop, just my thing. And um, once they do poop, you give them a treat and then you take them back to whatever they were doing. So they understand, oh, okay. So she brought me over here for a reason, and once I use the bathroom, I got my treat, and we go along our way. You don't want to put them back in the cage and close them up or anything, or they're not going to understand what you're doing. So once you do this time after time, they're going to realize, oh, okay, so I'm supposed to use the bathroom wherever they take me, you know. So um, we have Ozzy trained to go on his stand. That's just what we do. If I'm at a friend's house, I actually have Ozzy trained to go outside. I take him outside and I'll just hold my arm out and I'll say, um, Ozzy got to go poop and he uses the bathroom and then we go back in and do what we were doing. So he just knows it now. But um, like I say, this is just so much easier than you think it's going to be. And then um, sometimes you can tell just by how they're acting. Ozzy gets really antsy, like he'll run back and forth or he'll, uh, I'm actually going to put a video in of him on my shoulder where before he was being fine, but then he started, like he was going back and forth on my shoulder. He was bringing his beak around in my face and I knew at this point, okay, he's got to go. So I took him to the stand and I'll show you that part and he just goes to a stand and uses the bathroom. But you have to be consistent. You can't just do this one day and not do it the next day. You have to be consistent with this. And I'm telling you it's going to work because Ozzy does not use the bathroom anywhere now except his cage, his stand, and outside. If, Like I say, if I'm at my mom's or at a friend's house or even on a road trip when we were going through Cade's Cove. If he would get antsy, I could tell he had to use the bathroom, so we would pull to the side of the road. I would hold my arm out outside, and he would use the bathroom. And used to, I gave him treats for this, but now he doesn't even care if he gets a treat for this. He just knows that that's what he's supposed to do. And even when we're outside with him, he does not like to use the bathroom anywhere on you except on your arm to the side because I guess he's just really considerate and doesn't want to get it on me. So he'll let me know. He'll start running around my shoulder, you know, just kind of nipping at me to be like, okay, I got to go. So I'll just hold him to the side. He goes and we're on our way. But you have to be um, consistent. Like I say, this can't just be one that it's like potty training a child. You have to be consistent in what you do. But once they see that this is how it happens and this is what you want from them, they are so intelligent. They are going to get this so quick. You will not even believe it. But just be patient with your birds, too. Do not get aggravated. You know, if they do happen to poop somewhere else, just act like it didn't even happen. Because birds feed off of your emotions and how you handle things. So just be very consistent and be patient with your bird. But I'm telling you, if you do this, you're going to have a potty trained bird in no time. No lie, it was probably not even a week because they are just so intelligent. 
but I'm going to put uh, the video at the end and let you see how Ozzy was antsy and then how he goes to a stand. But you'll also notice, this is kind of gross, but I, I felt like I needed to put it in there. Before he goes to the bathroom, he's going to drop his bottom a little bit. And all parrots do this. And even if you start to notice that happen, if you forgot that it's been the 45 minutes, if you see this start to happen, just grab your bird, take them over to the stand, cage, outside, however you're going to do this before, you know, right when that starts to happen. So whenever they do, you do get them there, they can use the bathroom and they realize, oh, okay. And then you give them that treat for that. And it's just going to take time, patience, and consistency. But I'm telling you, if you stick with this, you will have no trouble at all and you will have your parrot potty trained. I'm going to end the video here because I don't want it to be any longer than it has to be. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. Um, subscribe to the channel. Like our videos. Share our videos. Um, and everybody just have a great day. See you next time. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hi. Are you getting antsy? Are you getting antsy? Okay. Step up. Step up. Oh boy, you need to poop, Oz. Oz need to poop. What a good boy. Yeah, Oz need to poop. Good job, boys.